We got an incoming Amber Alert, uh, Tyler, Texas. Fort Worth just issued theirs. I have a bad signal on KHB 42 today, so. Hang on. Nothing yet. Shreveport just issued his child abduction emergency, which means we're next, or somewhere. Bruh. <laughs> I'm laughing at something else. El Paso. I'm not familiar with some of these call signs, but I know some of them. I'm not excited, okay? I, I'm, I'm really just praying the child is found and returned. I don't know why we're doing it. Hang on. I'm waiting for the... Just waiting. AMA Amarillo. I think that's Amarillo. LCH just issued it. Alright, let, let's read the information. Jamar Ross, black male, one year old, two foot eight inches, 45 pounds, black hair, brown eyes. Oh my gosh, that's like my nephew's age. This is not good. Come on, I'm making a rapper video for my uh, other channel and what was that? Oh, I don't care.
appreciable precipitation through Friday will continue the daily risk of heat illness with afternoon highs climbing into the upper 90s with 100 plus possible in a few locations. Apparent temperatures of 105 to 115 can be expected. Increasing precipitation is expected Saturday through early next week as the upper level ridge retreats back to the west and an upper trough works its way into the region. Please listen to NOAA Weather Radio or go to weather.gov on the internet for more information about the following hazards. Heat advisory. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation is not expected at this time. This hazardous weather outlook is for the Gulf of Mexico and the coastal lakes and bays of the Gulf of Mexico. Day one. This. Here we go.